hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel you know it's the boy and me king and today i'm gonna to be doing part 49 of what if naruto went dark if you're new search across the playlist and look for what if naruto went dark and check out from part one trust me this story is very interesting and guys look out for another episode that is coming today i'm going to be giving you guys a double upload so look out for another episode and if you're new, just take 5 seconds out of your time and click that subscribe button. Turn on that bell notification so you can see when exactly when I post. And thank you for joining the Anime King family. So, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Start the intro. So the last time we left off, Naruto returned to Konoha and met Minato in the forest where they are going to have their epic showdown. As Minato asks Naruto if he is going to take him seriously now, Naruto uncrossed his arms and went into a taijutsu stance and then Naruto vanished. Meanwhile, the people at Wave, Kushina and Naruto followers are planning to hijack and take down Naruto with Kushina plans. Right now. Naruto is nowhere to be seen as Minato looked around for him. You guys can switch across the place and check out the other part or watch part 48 if you don't understand guys because you need to go check out our part before you watch this. Okay, so let's get straight into this episode. Do you remember Naruto voice echo through the area? Huh Minato? I grab your arm to stop one of your attacks. Look at it now, said Naruto. As his voice echo everywhere, Minato was looking around but he couldn't see Naruto. And he didn't understand what Naruto was talking about, but he did so anyway. Minato then looked down to see his hands with holes in them. It was the attack that Naruto used. And Minato tried to use his Rasengan, but Naruto grabbed onto Minato's arm, cancelling out his attack. And when Naruto did that, he stabbed him with his claws. You know that if I want to put my enemies under a genjutsu, I have to directly send my yokei into them. Shouted Naruto as his voice echoed in the area. Minato then started to feel dizzy as the world around him started to spin. He fell down on the branch that he was on and started to cough a lot. What did you do to me? asked a very scared Minato. Oh, nothing much, said Naruto as he appeared right in front of Minato as Minato was currently on the ground coughing. Naruto then leaned down to Minato's ears and whispered. Illusion, false reality, said Naruto as he disappeared again. Minato then feel all of his energy return. As he jumped back up to his feet to see Naruto, a branch not too far away from him, with a smile on his face. Oh, I guess your genjutsu failed Naruto, said Minato with a small smirk. Minato then pulled out a kunai ready to attack Naruto. Minato then rushed towards Naruto and he was now in front of him ready to punch him straight in the face. Which Naruto blocked and the two went in fury of punches and kicks. Naruto then broke the taijutsu battle as he jumped back and took a deep breath. Cartoon. Fire fox he said as he sent a massive fireball with the head of a fox rushing towards Minato. Minato quickly took out a kunai and lightning advanced it and threw it right through the fire heading towards Naruto. Naruto saw it coming and simply tilted his head. Minato then disappeared as he appeared right beside Naruto with the kunai. I am sorry, said Minato 
as he took the kunai and slashed right through Naruto's neck, decapitating him. Naruto's head fell to the ground as his body followed it. Minato looked down with sadness in his eyes as his elder son was now dead. Naruto said Minato as he looked at the body on the ground, this is all my fault this happened to you and I am so sorry but now you can finally be at rest. Said a sad Minato as a tear went down his cheek. Such a sad sight whispered Minato. Yeah it sure is said a voice behind Minato making him eyes open wide. Minato instantly looked behind him to see Naruto perfectly fine, leaning on a tree branch. What? shouted Minato. What? Why are you shouting? said Naruto. I'm right here and I'm fine. So you have nothing to worry about. You're dead. Your body is right here said Minato as he pointed at the ground. What body? Naruto asked with a grin on his face. Minato quickly looked down at the ground to see nobody was there. What did you do to me? shouted the angry Minato as he pulled out two kunais. Are you planning to stab me? asked Naruto. Well you can't. After all, I am just a tree, said Naruto as he suddenly mouthed into the tree. What the hell is going on? said Minato as he looked around the forest. Realizing that there was no damage done here, Naruto's fire attack totally scorched the ground and kunai should be everywhere and the trees should be slashed but the place was perfectly fine. Genjutsu, said the angry Minato, Naruto tricked me. I must release this Genjutsu now, said Minato as he started to gather up his chakra as he then shouted, release. The world around him phased away and then everything returned back to normal. The burned ground, the slashed trees and the kunais. Now, where is that boy? said Minato as he looked around. He then heard Naruto's voice said Rasengan. He barely had enough time to turn around but he couldn't dodge the attack as he saw Naruto with a fully formed Rasengan as Naruto sunk the Rasengan into his back with full force. Minato shouted in pain as he was blasted down into the ground. Minato struggled to turn around as he looked up to see Naruto perch on one of the branches looking down at him. You look hurt. Good. Naruto giggled insanely. Minato then saw one of his kunais behind Naruto as he was thinking of a plan. He then disappeared in a yellow flash as he appeared behind Naruto with his fully former Sengan about to make contact but when it did, it went right through him and Minato was sent hurling down into the ground with his Rasengan as it destroyed the ground beneath him. What? shouted Minato as he then looked behind him to see a smirking Naruto. Hey, you better watch out, said Naruto as he pointed in front of Minato as Minato saw another Naruto with his tail high stop ready to slash him down. Tail smash, the Naruto in front of him shouted. Minato flashed away just in time to dodge the attack. He appeared behind another Naruto sitting on a branch. Now, said Minato, I will finish this as he threw a senban at Naruto. Wait, a senban? I don't use senbans, said Minato to himself. The senban made his way into Naruto's neck as Naruto fall off a tree as his body hit the ground. Minato said someone as Minato turned around to see Kushina with her sword on her back. Are you alright she asked in worrying of him. I got blasted with a Rasengan but I will be fine he said as Kushina helped him up and put his arm around her shoulder. Something is going on here though. It seems like everything is messed up, he said to himself. I just sent a senban at Naruto and I don't even use them. I didn't have one in my pouch when the fight started, so how exactly did it get here? With Minato over her shoulder, his arm anyway, the both of them walk over to Naruto as they look down at him as Kushina said what a sad sight. Yeah it is. Minato then opened his eyes wide as he was in pure shock 
as he heard Naruto, as he then turned around to see Naruto with a fully farmer Rasengan about to blast Kushina away. Minato quickly built his own Rasengan as the both of them shouted Rasengan and collided the two attacks as they struggled for a while till the both of them got blasted away. What is going on here? I thought you killed him, said Kushina. Yeah, I thought I did too. Apparently, he has trapped us in some type of genjutsu. Really? How did he get me into it, said Kushina. I don't know, but we need to watch our backs. He can appear at any time, said Minato as he readied himself for any surprise attack. Kushina also took out her sword and got into a taijutsu stance ready to defend Minato. This is even better, said Naruto as his voice echoed in the area. You both can die together. Then I will show your dead bodies to Konoha, weaken their wills and then I will kill them all, starting with Menma and Mito. Minato gathered his nature energy as he activated his sage mode. Here he comes, shouted the now sage mode Minato as he saw Naruto. Naruto ran up to them with his sight in his hand as Kushina ran up to deflect his sight as she was trying to hold him back as Minato jumped over her head with two fully formed Rasengan in his both hands. Rasengan Barrage he said as he sent the Rasengans towards Naruto's face. Kitsune bombs said Naruto as small fireballs with fox head came from his mouth and towards Minato. Minato destroyed two of them but then he grabbed Kushina and flashed away with her to avoid the very large explosion when the small bombs made contact with the earth. That was unexpected said Kushina as she watched the explosion. Naruto then flew upwards in the air. Cotton, fox fire he shouted as he sent another large fox shaped fire towards them. Water wall said Kushina as she cancelled out Naruto's fox fire with her water wall. The attack then died down as Minato watched the scene in front of him as he saw Naruto running towards them. Watch out Kushina said Minato as Kushina ran towards Naruto. No Kushina shouted Minato worrying of her safety as she ran and dodged Naruto's sight and cut Naruto straight in half as the both sides of his body dropped to the opposite side. Is it over? She asked as she didn't look at her son, severed body, not to want to see her son in such a state. Minato then grabbed her and appeared on the tree branch. What was that for? She said as she didn't expect Minato to just whoosh her out of there. Look, he said as Naruto's body suddenly turned into mold hot lava and melt right through the ground. We are still in his genjutsu, said Minato. Any fatal hits you make on him, that doesn't mean he is down for the count, said Minato. You're right, said Naruto. From behind them, they couldn't get away from Naruto as he grabbed the both of them by their necks as he was holding them in the ear. Isn't this funny? The two person that gave life to me and turned my life into a pure disappointment and suffering. I now have the power to end your life. You Minato, you must die, suffer and feel all the pain I felt through all of my life. Water dragon bullets shouted a voice as Naruto dropped the two of them to avoid the water bullets coming towards him. A person landed in front of Minato and Kushina coming to their rescue. Ah, oh, thanks said Minato as he looked up to see who saved his life, only to see a familiar person. Kushina? He said as he turned around, not seeing the Kushina that Naruto was holding. So you made a cage bungee and you did it before he grabbed us, he said as he looked at his wife. What are you talking about? asked Kushina with a raised eyebrow. I just got here, I didn't make any cage bungee. Well, why are there two of you? There was anyway, said Minato as he was confused, looking around for the next Kushina that Naruto was holding. Did Naruto hit you over the head or something? She said. 
You were just fighting with me, he asks. Then, a shadow then formed beside Kushina as another Kushina was beside her. See, there are two of you, he said, sounding and rambling like a madman. Are you okay, Minato? she said as she was worried for him. You don't see her? He pointed at the next Kushina, but the next Kushina was not saying anything. There is a other me right here? asked Kushina as she placed her hand beside her. And her hand phased right through the next Kushina, leaving Minato very confused. So you're telling me that you were never here? He shouted. Damn, it can't be all this time. I guess the fun is over, said Naruto as he looked down at Minato. What is going on, Naruto? What did you do to me? He shouted. What did you do to my husband, Naruto? Kushina asked. Oh, he's still under my Gento Jutsu. It's called false reality for a reason, said Naruto with a smirk. So everything was fake? asked Minato. So everything was fake? No, not everything. Yours and my attacks were real. But some of the places and the things that were on it was illusion. I cannot believe you didn't figure out this at first. You're not a really smart Hokage, are you? Said Naruto with a laugh. Damn it, and now I'm low on chakra, said Minato, as he knew that he wastes a lot of chakra in the fake reality. So why didn't it dispel when I tried to dispel it at first? Minato asks. Oh, because I made you believe that you dispel it, and you were still trapped inside of it. So, is he still under your genjutsu? Kushina asks. Oh yes, he is, and he won't escape it. The only way for him to break my genjutsu is for him to dispel the yokai that is coursing through his chakra network, and he doesn't have the ability to do that. So you will be under it, till I kill you all, said Naruto that did this smirk. But I know how to break it, said a voice, as Naruto said you. As he growled at the person who he saw in his sight, as the person revealed to be Kurama. Kurama said Naruto with a growl. Good to see you again, she said with a soft smile. I have missed you, my love. Do not call me that. I no longer love you. I hate you more than everything in this world. And after I'm done killing everyone in Konoha and destroying it, I'm coming to wave and I'm coming for your head. I told you Naruto, I am not going to let you destroy Konoha, she said. She then stepped in front of Kushina and Minato. Naruto then blasted his yokai everywhere in anger as a wave of darkness surrounded the place. Why are you protecting them? He shouted at her. You should be wanting to kill them for what they did to you. I am not going to because that would make me a hypocrite. Plus. They are going to help me save you, she said with a smile. I already told you, said Naruto, as his eyes were closed. Anyone that gets in my way is dead. You aren't an exception. I know, she said, as she stuck her fingernail in Minato's neck, absorbing the yokai out of his chakra system. But I can't have the person destroying everything he hates, also destroying himself while he does it. She said as she looked at Naruto. Okay then. He opened his eyes to reveal his crimson eyes, sparkling. Then, get ready to die, he said as he brought out his sight. I promise you that we will win, she said to Kushina and Minato as all of them went into a fighting stance. Listen to me, said Kushina. Do you have a plan to save Naruto? Yes, I do, said Kurama. I know we aren't on good terms with each other, but I need you two to help me win back Naruto. He doesn't know what he's doing, and since we are the three person who is his main cause of pain, I am sure it's right to take all that suffering we place on him away," she said. Alright Krama, we will team up, said Minato. Just make sure you don't double cross us. After all of this is over, said Kushina with a playful smile. No promises, said Kurama with a smile. 
You two listen, Naruto's Taijutsu is called the Merciless Kisune. It involves him using his tails to attack and defend, and his arms giving him an extra edge on his enemy. He will match your power for a while, but then surprise you with a strong attack that you weren't expecting. If he hits you, then you are assured at least a couple of broken bones. And if he keeps hitting you, you'll be dead in about 30 seconds, Krama explained, making the two look at Naruto, knowing that he's really dangerous. So how are we going to take him down? One on one is not an option, said Kushina. We take him down with diversions, I'll be the main attacker while you two sit back and launch attack when you see an opening. It is the safest way, okay? She said to the both of them. The both of them nod in agreement. Good, said Krama as she sent her yoke to a seal on her arm. What came out was an all black sword. You really are going to pull everything out on me, said Naruto as he put one of his hands on his face. That is good. I haven't had a good battle in a long time. We will see who lives and who dies. He said as he blasted the ears with key, making Kushina and Minato saw moments of their deaths. Are you two? Are you all ready to die? said Naruto with an insane grin as he prepared to attack. But guys, I'm going to be ending this episode right here. The next part will be out today, so look out for it guys. Yeah guys, I promise, let's look out for it. But I'm going to be out for now guys. Peace.